Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss merge method in Pandas data frame. So merge method is used to merge two data frames side by side. Consider this data frame EMPDL. I have created another data frame EMPD underscore DL. You can see these two data frames. I have executed this and you can see the output. The first data frame is having employee ID, name and department. The second data frame is having employee ID and address. So you can see these both the data frame is having one column similar. The name of column is similar and the data in, the, in that column is also of same data type. So what merge function will do? Merge function will combine or merge these two uh, data frames side by side. First, let's check this output. You can see there are four columns. Employee ID, name, department and address. In the above, you can see two data frames. One data frame is having employee ID, name and department. These three columns are coming in my output. Another column address is coming from the second data frame. So there is employee ID and address. So only address is coming from second data frame. You can see there are two data frames with same employee, same column name. So uh, that column is coming only once in the output. So you can see now this command. So I have merged these two data frames using this command pd.merge. pd is pandas. Pandas.merge. I have given data frame 1 and data frame 2. So you can see these both the data frames have been combined side by side and only the matching employee IDs are coming in the output. You can see it 1 and 2 are coming. 3 employee ID 3 is not having in data frame 2 and employee ID 4 is not having in data frame 1. So this is the basic idea of merge. Let's dig it into the merge method. What is the prototype and what different parameters are there in merge method. So this is merge method. Merge method merge the data frame object with database like joins. Database like joins means as we join the tables in database the merge method merges the data frames or joins the data frame in pandas. So that means we can merge two data frames on matching columns or indices. In last example we have used same columns and merges two data frame. We can use indexes also. Indexes means row indexes. These. We can merge this. We can merge two data frames using indexes also. If you don't know database joins, consider it as merging two tables side by side uh, with matching column name. So similarly, we can use merge method to merge two data frames. There are two ways you can merge two data frames. First is using pandas merge method. Second is using data frame merge method. So uh, there are two uh, merge methods. One is in pandas module, which we import. Another is in data frame. So using data frame method also, I can use uh, I can merge two data frame. Either I can use pandas data uh, pandas merge. Both the methods are exactly same in all respect. Only the way to call them is different. You can see here using pandas merge and using data frame merge. To merge two values, uh, two data frames, I call pd.merge, then I pass data frame 1 and data frame 2. If I call the merge method of data frame, I will call using data frame, then data frame 1 dot merge, then I will pass only single data frame because using one data frame, I am calling merge. So in our coming examples, we will use pandas merge method where we pass two data frames. So let us discuss the prototype of merge. 
so this is the prototype of merge method there are different parameters as you can see we will discuss all the highlighted parameters so in the previous example i have passed df1 comma df2 i have not used any of these parameters you can use these parameters uh, when you require them if if you don't pass these these parameters all the default values for those parameters will be passed so we will discuss how left on right on index left index right index and sort these different parameters we will see we will discuss these parameters as and when we will progress in our uh, video so these two you have dis we have discussed so this is called left data frame the first data frame which you pass is called left data frame because it is left side so and the, this is df2 is right side so uh, whenever we pass a data frame to the uh, right side it is called right data frame so let us see this is employee data frame you can see this is employee data frame and this is employee detail data frame this is containing employee id name and department this is containing employee id and address you can see employee id and employee id are same in both the data frames also the data is similar of same data type if i want to merge these two as in previous example i have used in this uh, example also i will use pd dot merge then my first data frame this is left data frame and my second data frame this is right data frame so when i execute it you can see the result only the matching data, uh, employee ids are coming here 1 2 3 are there and in this data frame 1 2 4 are there so 1 and 2 are common so 1 and 2 are coming in output you can see one is having ram and sales so one is having ram and sales and here in second data frame uh, the address of employee id one is mumbai so mumbai is coming here in same way employee id two siam and hr with address delhi is coming three and four are not coming so this is the simple way of using merge i have not used any parameters so all the parameters which i have discussed here will be taken as by default you can see how is taken default value as inner left on taken there is its default value as none right on taken its default value as none left index as false right index as false and sort as false these are the default values for these parameters so it is taken uh, by the pandas by default it has taken by the python by default Now let us discuss those parameters one by one. So first we will discuss how parameter. So this is the parameter how. How tells you how to join the data frames. Currently we saw that we have not passed the how parameter. So how parameters default value was passed. That was inner. So these are the different values that I can give in how parameter. It is left, right, outer and inner. In our uh, previous examples, uh, the inner was passed and inner means give uh, the output with the matching values only. As we saw this output, only matching values were coming 1 and 2. Now in case if you want all the values all the values there is 1 2 3 and there is 1 2 and 4 so all the if you we talk about the distinct values the distinct values are 1 2 and 3 and 4 1 2 3 and 4 so if i want all the values so what i will do here we will discuss so i have given data frame 1 data frame 2 and in the how parameter i will provide outer so you can see this is my data frame 1 this is my data frame 2 so distinct employee ids are 1 2 3 here 1 2 and 4 so 1 2 3 and 4 are distinct so 
So I, wa I wanted all the four employee IDs. So you can see now all the four employee IDs are coming. If I provide inner, so only matching employee IDs are coming one and two. Only matching employee IDs, which is in both the data frames. So using outer, you can print all the employee IDs or all the data from both the data frames. So consider if three is there, but three is not there. So three Mohan and accounts will have what address? Address is coming here. So see three Mohan and accounts is coming as NAN because address is not available. Similarly, four and Hyderabad is not having any name and department. So name is coming NAN and department is also coming NAN. So these are two things, inner and outer. There were two more parameters. So we have learned outer and inner. So there are two more parameters left and right. So let's see this. Now this is your data frame one. This is your data frame two. So this data frame that I have passed on the left side and this data, data frame I have passed on the right side. If I want all the values from left side and only matching values from right side. So if I want 1, 2, 3, uh, so 1, 2 is already there. I don't want 4. I want only values, all the values from left side and only matching values from right side. So I will provide left, all the values from left side. So you can see the output now 1, 2, 3 are coming but 4 is not coming because I wanted all the values from left side and I wanted only matching values from uh, right side. If I want all the values from right side I will provide right. So you can see now 1, 2, 4 is coming now 3 is not coming. So all the values from this data frame is coming left uh, right data frame and all the values are not coming from left data frame. So this is how parameter. Another is now consider. So this is these two are merging on the column same column name. Consider if it is not having same column name then what will happen. So let's change this column name to employee id 1. So we will change it to employee id 1. We are using rename function here and we are providing column employee id and we are changing it to employee id 1. So let us execute this. So you can see this. Now in the output it is having employee id and it is having employee id 1. So what will happen if I want to merge these two? If both the uh, data frames columns have different name. If I want to merge it. So let us try to merge it in, uh, using the previous command. This is my previous command merge. Simple, simplest command and if I want to merge it I will execute it and see you can see error is coming why error is coming because these two data frames are not having same uh, uh, same column it is having different column names then we have to tell python that this is my column on which I want to merge the data frames so I will comment it and see this command. This is my left data frame. This is my right data frame. So I am telling the Python that my left data frame column on which I want to join is left on is employee ID this and right on is employee ID one. So see if I execute this you can see now result is coming but because both the column is having different name so both the columns are coming. So this is left on and right on these are required when both the columns are having different names. There are two more parameters left index and right index. So these are used we have seen the uh, definition we can merge the data frames using columns or indices. So using these parameters I can merge two data frames on its indices. So see I am using merge pd.merge you can see here 
pd dot merge employee left data frame right data frame then i am telling the python use left index as true and use right index as true that means use left and right indexes means left column left data frame index this and right data frame index to join the to merge the data frame if i execute it see the output now first see these two data frames the first data frame let us print this data frame in here only so see this one data frame and one data frame and second data frame so we are now merging on indexes not employee ids so see the zeroth index it is having employee id 1 ram and sales so zero is coming with one ram and sales you have to see this also because i am not giving how so how by default is coming as inner that means all the matching parameters from both the uh, data frames will come only matching indices so it is having 0 1 2 indices it is having 0 1 2 that means 0 1 2 will come so output is having 0 1 and 2 so 0 is having one ram and sales so one ram and sales here zero is having one and mumbai so one and mumbai one is having two syam hr so two syam hr then here one is having two delhi so two delhi so this is uh, merging using indices it is not using employee id to merge you can see here here employee id is 3 employee id is 4 but the indices for both of them are 2 so here i am using indices let's see uh, if i can merge both the data frames i am having consider now if i am having these two data frames i want to merge this data frame using its indices and its employee id the its indices the left uh, data frames indices and right data frames column let's see this i want to merge left data frames indices and right data frame employee id so what i will do i want left data frames indices so left index will be true use left index as key okay so right index will have to be false because i will use right on as employee id 1 So I will use this employee ID one and this zero one two. So let us execute this. What happens? <coughs> so you can see there are two data frames. I am uh, merging these two using its indices and its column. So you can see now I have not provided how. So only matching values will come. So here is having zero one and two. Here is having one two four. So one two here one two and here. and the left it uh, right data frame want to are matching so one two will come in the result see the output it is having employee id name and department and employee id one and address so it is having 3 plus 2 five columns so both are having one and two common one and two so one is having two syam hr okay two syam hr is coming and uh, here one is having two syam hr here one is having mumbai so one and mumbai is coming here two is having three mohan accounts here two is having delhi three mohan account delhi so this is merging two data frames using first uh, data frames indices and second data frames column now let us discuss our last attribute that is sort sort is used when i want my resultant data frame to be sorted so consider if uh, my merging data frame is having uh, large number of rows consider it 10000 10000 so my resultant data frame will also have large number of rows 
So in that case we want our output to be sorted. So by default the sort is false. We can give uh, sort parameter as true. Whatever we write here in merge function we will give sort as true. So it will be the output will come as sorted on on which this it will come sorted on the merged data uh, merged column. Consider we are using only let us write it again pd dot data, uh, pd dot merge emp underscore df comma empd underscore df so we will execute this what is the problem no common columns okay we have changed the column so we will take these two data frames we will execute this again now try to execute again this one now you can see my output is coming so if i give sort is equal to true so it will come because we have uh, we had only two rows so it was the result was similar to this result but if you are having large number of rows then you you will see the effect so that so if i give sort equal is equal to true this uh, resultant output will be sorted on the joining column so this was the merge method uh, if you have any doubt you can ask me in comments and i will suggest you to do the practical for this method once you do the practical it will be clear to you all the things will be clear to you thank you